Hi, I'm Dan Montgomery, President of the Illinois Federation of Teachers, and I wanted to thank you today for the work you have done over the last few weeks to change what's happening in Springfield. We faced, as you know, a very difficult attack, unprecedented in our history, not only on professional issues, but on our collective bargaining rights. For the time being, we believe that we have been able to avert that attack, and now we are in the process of negotiating in the Illinois Senate and the legislature around our own set of reform ideas. Well, how did this happen? First, it was you. You made the difference. You sent over 50,000 emails to your legislators. More than 15,000 of you were on our telephone town hall to talk about what was happening and what you could do. The outreach, the activization that you used, that you made, was unprecedented, and I thank you for that. And that's a real lesson for us in the IFT, that when we stand together and when you as members work hard, we get things done. The second important piece of this was our ideas. We believe that we have better ideas than so-called reformers about what should happen in Illinois schools with teaching and learning. We put forward our ideas. Who is we? It's the Illinois Federation of Teachers working very closely with the Chicago Teachers Union, our local one, and the Illinois Education Association. Those three unions have worked hand in glove to put our ideas on the table, and we've been effective. And those ideas are challenging, we know that, but they're also meant to be serious reforms that can actually help kids and their teachers. The third part is community involvement, and you also helped there, and we had many other partners on board with us, so it wasn't just the unions talking, and that's something we need to continue. In the end, Illinois faced a very grave fiscal situation, and we applaud those legislators who took the tough vote to raise taxes. No one likes to pay more taxes, but the alternative was unthinkable. What would have happened to Illinois schools and children was really something that none of us wanted. And so we look forward to a better fiscal situation that will result in better schools for Illinois children Again, I wanted to thank you for all the work you've done. Please stay tuned. This battle certainly isn't over as we go forward in the spring session. There still could be uh, many changes and ideas put out there, and we will continue to work hard to make sure that the ideas of teaching professionals are the ones that get listened to. Thank you.